In this video we share Pope, Benedict XVI and the prophecy of the Restrainer. A very particular thesis is circulating concerning the well-known prophecy of Saint Paul, on the disturbing sign that would only further confirm it. In fact, Saint Paul was the one who spoke in the Bible of the so-called Cachin, Restrainer, that is to say the Restrainer of Evil which according to these theories could act today in the world and also in the church. Indeed, the Apostle of the Gentiles prophesied that God would send a power of deception to test man. With the developments that have touched a very specific aspect of the church in the last year, some have advanced the thesis that the Cachin himself advocated by Saint Paul could be none other than Pope Benedict XVI. For a very specific reason, the deduction would specifically involve what has been defined as the reform of the Pater Noster, Our Father, that is to say the rewriting of the most famous prayer of the whole of Christendom modified in various points of the same, and one in particular very important and which has particularly brought discussion. Saint Paul introduces the figure of the Cachin in the second letter to the Thessalonians from Paul of Tarsus. It speaks of the second and last coming of Jesus Christ, the Parousia, and it is explained that before this something very special will happen. The apostasy must take place and the unjust man, the son of perdition, must be revealed says the prophecy in, 2 Thessalonians. With a further specification to follow. The mystery of iniquity is already underway, but it is necessary that those who hold it back up to now be removed, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, in fact, Saint Paul continues in his eschatological prophecy, that speaks to us of the end of time. Basically, for the Apostle this coming of evil will not be isolated and silent, but accompanied by some signs that would have indicated the fact unequivocally. These real lying prodigies would have been, it is explained, intent on misleading those who have not yet received, salvation. Therefore God sends them a power of deception to believe the lie, so that all those who have not believed in the truth, but are pleased with iniquity, may be judged, 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. Obviously it is not God who is the author of evil, but it is he himself who, as happens on numerous occasions in the Old Testament, just think of the sacrifice required at first of Moses by his son Isaac, to test man's faith in him, therefore for a greater good that is accomplished in the moment in which his will is done. God does not let man fall, but allows him to be put to the test. So the recently modified verse of the Our Father, according to this reading, was not to be modified. Also because Cardinal Ratzinger, Benedict XVI, constantly quoted Saint Paul in his texts, explaining in particular that this passage must be understood as an openness to him in the face of the weight of our sufferings. However, today the prayer recited in the church is different, and the meaning itself is also different. According to some psychologists, the risk would be to lead the faithful to think something profoundly wrong, almost blasphemous. By saying do not abandon us to temptation, the faithful may in fact be tempted to think that God may decide to abandon them. This is something that the gospel message does not find at all. At the very least, it is we who abandon the Lord through our freedom, however, paying heavily for the consequences. In reality, God is always with us and never leaves us alone, nor does he abandon us. Could this therefore be proof that, faced with the evil that acts in the world by seducing even theologians and the church itself, Benedict can today embody the Cachin described by the Apostle of the Gentiles? Certainly, the affirmation is also burning due to the resignation carried out by the Pope Emeritus himself, which could suggest that on the contrary he would have left the way open to a condition of uncertainty and chaos. Yet, despite this, with his words and his theology he continues to show himself with a real break against the coming of evil in the world, unfortunately increasingly insidious among human beings and even among the faithful, or even in the church itself, as even Pope, Paul VI prophesied in the most distant sixties. In any case, this question cannot be answered, but each believer can form his own idea. And invoke the Lord to enlighten the minds of so many Christians by illuminating them with his divine light. 
Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.